has been an unbelievable response tonight. People have come from throughout North Denton to stand shoulder to shoulder with the Dalriada community. The staff, carers, families, users, patients, MS users, and everyone are standing together. I've just been talking to a consultant at the Causeway Hospital who know the strain that they're already under and the fact that they will not be able to cope should the Dalriada close. This is a step down facility and a step up facility. I already know of two cases today where acute hospital beds could have been freed up if the patients were uh, transferred to Dalriada. Dalriada was told no more admissions. Those two patients are holding up now acute beds in the Causeway Hospital. But furthermore, what we're seeing is a, a further attack and discriminatory attacks on the rural community. This community here in Ballycastle, we have had you know the water service, road service removed, we've had the residential home removed, x-ray facilities, maternity services, the theatre, we had one thing after another re re removed. So people stood up tonight and said enough is enough, no more. Minister Wells needs to reverse this decision for the Northern Health Trust and let's get moving on with enhancing that service and creating a centre of excellence for neurology services and other similar conditions like MS and long term conditions. Let's make Ballycastle the centre of excellence, not always urban areas. You know, let's spread the wealth and you know let's um, help those people who have worked long and hard to create the care and environment that is Dalriada Hospital, but no way will we take Lyon down. The Chief Executive trying to pitch Dalriada against a very similar facility of the Robinson Hospital in Balamone. It won't happen. He's trying to change it into a political issue between one community ripping the back out of another community. We won't stand for that. We're saying keep Dalriada open. The things that go through my mind is that the that it's so devastating that I was thinking of self-harming and suicide. That's how much I think the support of Dalia, there's no, no such thing as um, home care, but it is a dead sentence for me. And it was delighted when I thought I would get a bed. But now uh, it is all kaput, I'm afraid. So all I can feel is sorrow and will the health minister pay for my funeral? Powerful night tonight. Uh, great to see so many of the community turning out and the strength of testimony and the strength of feeling for Dalriada is powerful. Absolutely. All you have to see is our staff. Uh, the the, the, the Dalriada is not just a hospital. The Dalriada is, an, uh, I described it earlier, as a virus. Uh, new nurses come on board, nurses retire. Uh, it keeps going. The, the singular uh, empathy of the staff. I've worked in a number of different hospitals over the years. I've not worked in a number of different uh, roles in the health service. I have never seen empathy and, and uh, camaraderie between patients and staff that there is in the Dalriada. Uh, and as opposed to that, the, the polar opposite that happened on Thursday, uh, the complete devastation that I, when I walked into the hospital, I seen on Thursday. That the, the, the staff were completely decimated by this news, which was sprung upon them. Uh, as I say, it was the polar opposite of the care and compassion that I have seen through the years uh, presented by staff to, to, to our patients. As a frontline worker and a data member of the community, what is the real price this community will pay if this hospital closes? I, I, it's not just the community. I think there, there is a philosophy of care that is, that is kind of dying throughout the health service. Um, uh, it's the philosophy of service provider, service user. The, 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 the Dalriad had never quite done that. The, the Dalriada, uh, it, it was never brought down to the standard of a uh, cashier in a supermarket uh, and a customer. Um, you've heard the very powerful statements from our patients tonight. Um, I, I can't put it any clearer than, than they have. They've done us proud. Uh, we have cared for them over the years. D tonight they've come and cared for us. Uh, the, I was sitting among permanent staff in the Dalriada, many of whom I, I, I've known for years. Uh, it was heartbreaking to listen to our patients support us 
and support the care and, and service that we give. The staff and Valeriana, from the pity girls through to the doctors, cannot be replaced. They know the ends and outs of everybody that comes to that place. And I see Philomena, Philomena is a very good friend, Monica's, and all I know is that that cannot be done away with is the battery added. And I would suggest whoever the trusts accountants are, they must have worked for Tesco. <laughs> As an MS suffered the potential closure of Dalriada Hospital, what will it mean to you? It's absolutely devastating to me and to my friends that use the MS Centre for respite. I mean, what's to happen to us now? The staff in the MS Centre, they understand us. They know exactly what's happening. If we drop something, nobody's saying tut tut. It just is carried on as normal. We, we get physio, we get podiatry, we get dental in the MS Centre. We talk, we counsel. I mean, what, what are they doing with the, about it? They're brushing the MS people under the carpet. Do we not matter? I mean, my friends go on their holidays, they go foreign. God knows where they might go, but my holidays are to Ballycastle MS, right? It's less pain. That are my, those are my holidays, and I look, when we leave the centre this time, we are counting up the weeks until the next visit. And if that doesn't come soon sometimes, it's hard work. Now, and that works both ways because it's respite for me and it's respite for my family because nobody knows how difficult MS is such a complex an individual illness. I mean, we're not, we're not stupid. Please don't pull the wool over our eyes. We know this is not going to be temporary, but yet they haven't offered us anything alternative. We can go to a nursing home. I know I might look old, but I'm not that old. And I definitely am not going to nursing home. My husband has said I will never, it's a place I will never be in. So what's to happen to us? Dahi Mackay, powerful testimony here tonight in Ballycastle from the local community in defence of their hospital. Absolutely, I mean, this is the start of the Ballycastle campaign against the closure of our local hospital. I mean, to run this hospital costs some £600,000. It is a drop in the ocean in terms of the health budget. Now, the Northern Trust and the Health Minister might think the Ballycastle is a soft touch, but they can come in and cut this service within four weeks. The people here, the people here tonight have said otherwise. This is the start of a campaign. We're going to bring it to the Health Minister's door and we're going to make him reverse the decision that the Northern Trust has made. This is the, the real face of the British Tory government's attacks on the local community and indeed on the health service? Absolutely. I mean, this is the outworking of our budget being cut tighter and tighter for the last four years by the Westminster government. So, obviously, it is going to have a huge impact in terms of frontline services. Now, the health minister was given £80 million to go towards frontline services. Well, included in that £80 million should have been the upkeep of the Dalriada Hospital, the maintenance of the jobs here, because whilst Northern Trust officials are saying that the jobs are safe, uh, that the patients will be relocated elsewhere, the people here uh, know a lie when they hear one. They know when the wool has been pulled over their eyes, and they've said tonight that this is not acceptable, and we will not accept the lies of the Northern Trust, nor uh, the ignorance of the Health Minister. Nobody could not be touched uh, by some of the contributions from the floor tonight, from MS sufferers, uh, from the staff at the hospital, and what struck me uh, was the clear relationships that have been built up over many years between the staff uh, and the sufferers of MS and other patients uh, within the hospital. So this is an example of a part of the health service in the Northern Trust that works well. Now, the Northern Trust is not renowned uh, for having a good service in many areas. This is one of the areas where it's actually working. It's actually working well at a low cost. So why would they cut the service? For our part in Sinn Féin, we will be providing support for this campaign 
at grassroots level, uh, at council level, uh, and at the assembly. I've raised the matter today with the health, health minister. He hasn't given an appropriate answer. He has said uh, to local health officials uh, and local doctors uh, that he will consider uh, what the Northern Trust is proposing. At the end of the day, the buck stops with the health minister, and tomorrow the health minister could put an end to what is going on. So that is what the health minister needs to do.